How to create an ACD group on IPEX Cloud. First, you will need to order an ACD group license for each group created an ACD group user license for each user. Then you go to user and user setup to assign the licenses to your users. Click on the user and then click on modify. Please note that the user needs to be a single client and an IPEX phone needs to be assigned to the user. Then go to Feature and click on Additional Features. Select the ACD Group User Licence and click Select, then OK to assign it to the user. Each user will need one ACD Group User Licence. Then save the changes made to this user. Then go to Call Manager and under Call Centre, click on ACD Group. On the top, you can see how many ACD Group licenses you have. Click on Add to add a new ACD group. Give the group a name and a representative number. Ensure you are entering an unused number. You also need to enter the time schedule this group will follow. Under Supervisor, you can enter the user that will be the supervisor of this group. You can also enter Sub-Supervisors. Then under Members, you can assign the ACD members by clicking on Change. Selecting the users and using the left arrow and move them to be a member of the ACD group. Next click on Queuing. Here you can enter up to five announcements by selecting the drop down in queuing steps. Enter the first announcement by clicking on Browse and select the WAV file you wish to be played. Enter the duration of this announcement. Do the same for any further announcements. You can enable a comfort tone to be played in between announcements. It can be ring back tone or the hold tone and enter the duration of the comfort tone. If you don't have a comfort tone set, it will play the first announcement, then the second and so on. With a comfort tone, the first announcement will be played, then the comfort tone, then the second announcement and so on. You can also enable calls in queue announcement by setting it to use. This means that an announcement will be played saying, what is your position in the queue? For example, you are number one in the queue. If you have announcements, comfort tone and calls in queue announcement enabled. Caller in the queue would hear, first the first announcement, then the queuing position, then the comfort tone, then back to the second announcement and so on. After all the announcements are played, the call can overflow to the timeout destination. Under Overflow, you can enter the queue length. That is how many calls you wish to queue. If you have more calls queuing than what is set here, it will follow the service type. That means that the call can be released, an announcement can be played and the call will drop or it can be forwarded to the destination set under Forward Destination. Next, Time. You can change night or holiday service as a supervisor, manually, or the time schedule you selected. The system can the route according to service type that can be release, announcement, or forward for night and holiday service. Next, click on agent. First are the default values when the agent logs on. The agent state at logon is how the agent will be once it logs on to the ACD group using the feature code. It can be ready to receive calls, not ready, or work. Work is that the agent is in wrap-up mode. In auto answer, when agent logs on, you can select manual. The agent needs to answer the call manually by lifting the receiver or answering in the headset, for example. If you set to automatic, the call will be presented to the agent and automatically answered. In auto work mode, when agent logs on, the agent can change from work mode to ready mode automatically or manually. If you select manual, the agent will be in work mode after a call is terminated until they manually enter the feature code to change them to the ready mode to receive calls. Selecting automatic, the system will automatically set them back to ready mode after the set amount of seconds set an agent auto switch time from work mode to ready. You can set the headset mode and ringtone mode as preferred. Then under agent ID usage at agent logon, 
you can enter the agent's ID manually under Agent ID and you can choose any agent ID by selecting Manual or select Automatic. That is, the agent ID will be automatically populated and will have the same number as the user extension number. If you have agents login into more than one station, you need to set it as manual. Under call restriction, you can restrict agents to call another agent or restrict agents to transfer calls to another agent. And can also restrict outgoing calls when the agent logs off that station or restrict all calls from that station. Under agent, no answer. It defines what will happen to the call and the agent if a call is not answered. If the call is not answered, you can set the agent to automatically be set to not ready and the call will drop, or you can set to not ready and forward. The agent will be set to not ready and the call will forward to the forwarder destination. You can also set to log off, to log the agent off and drop the call or log off and forward, or just forward to a destination. The no answer time is set under agent no answer call time and the destination is set under agent no answer forward destination. The rerouting option allows incoming calls to be rerouted to a certain destination when all agents are logged off the ACD group. You can select it to use and set a rerouting destination and save your group. Next is agent ID. If you set agent ID usage and agent blog to automatic, the agent ID list will be populated automatically, but if you set it to manual, you need to manually add the agents. When the agent is logging into the ACD group using the feature code, it will request for the agent ID when you set it manually. Click on add and enter the agent ID and agent name. You can change the skill level of the agents if needed, zero being the most proficient and save this agent ID. Do the same for all other agents.